Hi there, Linda Artisani from the Accountants Law Lab. This week, we're going to talk about marketing strategies to get those clients in the door for your firm, your bookkeeping or accounting firm. How do you target those legal professionals and get them to want to buy services from you? So as a bookkeeper, it's really critical to craft a good marketing strategy so that you know exactly what your target audience needs from you. And in this case, we're talking about legal professionals such as attorneys and and they require specialized attention. They have we have certain tactics that can be implemented to reach and engage those potential partnerships. And really, when we start to engage a new client, it is a partnership between our firm and their firm. We want to assist our client to grow and shine and you know bring in wonderful profits and pay their staff and everybody's happy. So the first place you can start, and I think this is a spot that a lot of people probably think blog posts are kind of passe, but they're really not. You can start to write blog posts for your client. There's still a lot of people out there that like to read, myself included, I like to read. And it's a good way to get yourself out there with some detailed articles because the articles can be pinged back through Google and people can find you. So with the pain points, if an attorney is experiencing pain points, for example, their trust accounts is out of balance, you could write articles about trust accounts being out of balance and how you fix them. You could do a series of articles on that. That's a major pain point for, for attorneys. As you start to write those articles, that's your way of being able to get out there that maybe they are layer on Google trying to figure out how do I fix my trust account? And you can write an article about six ways to fix trust accounting. And once you start to do that, you're going to have those articles out there that are going to be the answer to the answer of the public is what it's called. It's a website that you can go on to that will help you find things that are attorneys are putting into Google at trying to find help. And you want to really specify that down to bookkeeping and accounting. So you know the questions that they're asking to the Google, as we like to call it, um, to find find answers to their pain points. And that's where you're going to have your articles kind of populate and, and generate. And it takes time. So when it comes to writing articles and starting a blog, I can tell you honestly, firsthand, it doesn't happen overnight. This is a process that will develop over time. Uh, you're looking at probably doing a blog post a week. You want to be consistent with your blog posting. So that way, as you start to market your firm, this is a way to generate leads, but it's also, you want to be very consistent. You don't want to do one here and one there. Consistency is king. You want to know your avatar. So as we've all saw the movie Avatar, you can just imagine what the, an avatar looks like. But in our case, you want to picture that attorney. So maybe you focus on female attorneys, uh, really high stressful types that maybe do family law because very compassionate to help families and their children and keeping families together or whatever. So you can picture that attorney. You can picture her right down to giving her a name of maybe Susan, that she wears a navy blue suit to work. She's got a briefcase. She's always going to court. Get as detailed as you can because that's who you're going to be reading, writing to and speaking to in these articles. That's how you're going to get them to find you. So those are the things you have to really focus on as you start to focus on attorneys and Focus specifically on the one you want to hire. That attorney for us would be, Susan would be the partner in a, a, a bigger firm where there's multiple partners and maybe there's 10, 15, 25 other staff attorneys. That's kind of our sweet spot. Maybe you would like to work with Susan, who's a solo. So whatever that happens to be, that's what you want to start to write to. And really, I think it's a great idea to even pencil what she looks like, draw her out or whatever. It's just so you have a visual. So you're thinking about her when you're writing to her. It sounds like an odd strategy, but it actually works because this strategy can also enable flexibility. Maybe when you get into talking to solo attorneys, you can specify exactly the pain points that happen with solo attorneys. They have to wear all hats. They are very uh, much in their business. And a lot of times they don't have time to work on their business. So those are the things you can kind of work towards and make it so that they're able to be find that you'll be able, they'll be able to find you when they start searching for things. So you also want to, in the next step, is you want to communicate your expertise because just because you're writing to them, when you write to them, you want to prove to them in the, that writing, your social proof, basically, that you are the expert. So it's one thing to put posts out there on Instagram that are like pictures and we do this, we do that. But there's another to actually define that with answers to questions that you know they may or may not have as they're starting to, um, that they may have as they're starting to search in Google. 
like I mentioned, trust accounting, bank accounts unbalanced, um, a accounts receivable is another great topic that you may think of that maybe they have uncollected accounts receivables really hit up on that topic because that is a pain point for all law firms, small, medium, and large. And you can start to write about accounts receivable and how you fix or help with that pain point. And how does your firm fix or help with that pain point? So those are ways that you're able to do that to help your client. And it's all about, it's not so much about giving away the store and giving away all your information, because as you share your knowledge, it shows that you're the expert in this kind of work. So I think in conclusion, this is really um, the key to an effective marketing strategy is to have a strategy, know who you're talking to, demonstrate your expertise, and I think once you start to do this, you're going to start to shine. It just takes time. So know that any marketing strategy you implement, don't give up on it. Stay motivated. Stay ready to really hop on it and stay with it. If you, there's ways around writing, you could write when you're walking your dog in the morning. You could just write by talking into Google and then polish that up. I know there's a lot of AI uh, channels and programs that you can use. I'm really not a big believer in that. I think you should have your voice and really use your own voice when you start to, to write and speak from your heart. Some people do use AI and they're, I guess it's okay. I just think you're going to see so much of the same thing. It's kind of like oh, boring topics. You want to at least have that. And I also recommend putting a video like we do with our articles because that gets your face out there, gets your voice out there. And it really makes that individualized, personalized attention, um, I've had meetings with potential clients and they're like, oh my gosh, you're in your office. I've seen your office on so many videos and it's kind of makes me smile when they say that. So there's more details in the article attached to this video. And I hope you uh, join us at the Accountants Law Lab. We have a Facebook group. And until then, we'll see you all next week. Bye now.